Welcome, I'm Alan Stanley, I'm one of the lay ministers in the LME Trinity Benefice. Today, 14th of September, is called the Feast of the Holy Cross in the Christian calendar. It's the day on which the church across the world reflects on the cross on which Jesus died. Not the death of Jesus himself, which we remember on Good Friday, not the resurrection of Jesus, which we remember on Easter Sunday, but the physical cross itself. So today we join with other Anglicans, Lutherans, Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox Christians across the world in reflecting on the cross. Our Bible reading is from John chapter 3 verses 13 to 17. No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that whoever believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Our reflection today is going to be quite visual. So you may like to make yourself comfortable in a position where you can see the screen without using your hands. Do press the pause button if you need a little more time to do this. Now, if you can, hold your hands without any tension and just take a few steady breaths. Focus on the image on the screen and let the words wash over you. Don't analyse them. Simply give God a chance. This is an image of the Latin cross. It's the most common of all crosses. It reminds us of the supreme sacrifice offered by Jesus for the sins of the world. The cross is empty to remind us of the resurrection and the hope of eternal life. Look at this cross. It's called the Calvary cross. Do you notice there are three steps leading up to this version of the Latin cross? These steps represent the three things that remain when all else goes. From 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And now these three remain. Faith, hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Here is the Trinity Cross. Do you see the three leaf clover shape on the end of each of the arms? You may need to look a little more closely to see it. This shape points us to seeing that each of the three persons of the Holy Trinity was present at Calvary, although we may need to look closely to see that. The Father suffered as the Son agonised and the Spirit refreshed. Here is the Jerusalem cross. You can look at this cross in two ways. The four small crosses plus the larger central one symbolise perhaps the five wounds of Christ. Those in his two hands, his two feet and his side. You can also look at the central cross with its four smaller ones at each point of the compass and see that those wounds bring healing to the whole world. God so loved the world. Here is the Celtic cross. What does the circle part say to you? Is it like perhaps a wedding ring, a sign of everlasting love, love that has no beginning and no end? The everlasting love which God shows to you by Jesus' death. This cross is called the Triumphant Cross. It symbolises the final triumph and reign of Christ over the whole world. It shows us that although Jesus' death and resurrection has an intensely personal relevance for each of us as individuals, it also has an infinitely wide relevance for the whole of creation. And now finally, 
here is a holding cross. Can you see the picture? Can you see perhaps that cross in your own hand right now? Do you want to grasp that cross? And which of its shapes speaks most clearly to you today? Is it perhaps the empty cross with its hope of resurrection? Is it the cross stood on the foundation of faith, hope and love? Is it the Trinity cross, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit together? Is it perhaps the five crosses, the wounds or the witness? or the triumphant one. You may like to return to this reflection or ask for a paper copy so that you can reflect on one at different times of your day, at different days of your week. Let's bring our reflection today together with a prayer. Lord God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, how amazing is that image of your cross to us. The cross which brought Jesus to his death out of love for us. The empty cross which speaks to us of resurrection hope. The cross based on faith, hope and love. The greatest of these being the love of God, which never ends for us. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit together, sharing in that work of bringing us wholeness and healing, bringing us back to fellowship with the one true God. The five crosses, with its wounds, or its symbolism of witness to the whole world, or the triumphal cross, Lord God, Holy Trinity of Father, Son and Holy Spirit, give us space today to recollect, reflect, ponder on this wonderful multiple images of the cross, speaking to us of the wonderful multiple ways in which Jesus redeemed the world. We ask these things in his name. Amen. The Lord bless you as you walk holding the cross with him through the day today.